Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise Yah, everybody. Praise Yah another time. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. This is your sister, Carrie Ann, in Jesus Christ. Okay, brothers and sisters, I want to come with a very powerful vision um, that the Lord gave to me in the early hours of this morning. I'm so, so sorry. Um, I forgot the date today. <laughs> Another one to say the wrong date. What date is it today? Is it the fourth? Is it the fourth of October or something like that? It must be the fourth. I think it's the fourth. Is it the fourth or the third? I do apologize. Um, so the Lord gave me this vision in October 2021. Just yes, just early hours of this morning, brothers and sisters. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind, not even a little carrier, you know, maybe you're overtaking this thing too much. No, there's no doubt. As sure as I am sitting on this chair, I know that I'm not going to fall because the chair is holding me up because it's not wobbly or anything. That is so sure I know 150% that the Turner's event, it is coming and it is going to happen. The Most High Yah gave me a very profound, very vivid vision early hours of this morning. Brothers and sisters, in this vision, it was like I was in the biggest shopping center in the United States of Babylon, America. I don't know which city is that, to be honest with you. I don't know which city has the biggest shopping center, but it was huge. I said biggest, but it was proper, proper huge. Real big. Um... And when I was in there, brothers and sisters, listen to me very carefully because I'm going to try to describe everything that I can remember. Okay. In the vision, it felt Christmassy. It felt December type of thing. Because when I looked through the shop windows, there were, it was a colorful light, like a green and pink and purple, pepper, pepper bulb light. It, it was just white lights, but it was bright enough to just have this festive feel that's how it feels you know in the shopping mall you call the shopping center some people call it shopping mall whatever you call it um but here in the uk we call it shopping center so it had this festivity type feel and everybody was walking up and down doing their own thing and i remember I was walking with this lady and it's like she knew me this woman she wasn't, she wasn't an angel. She was not. She was a normal person I met in the vision. And we were walking through the shopping center. And as we were coming towards an escalator, all right, to go down an escalator, escalator, stairs type thing. Just before we reached the entrance of the escalator, I saw a group of soldiers with guns and all of that, right? These weren't police. These were, these were soldiers, all right? Beside the soldier was like a, a little, small, it's not a Moses basket, it's a cot. But it's a, it's the size of a Moses basket. So it wasn't your normal big cot where you put your baby in. It was just the size of a Moses basket but it was a cot, all right, for a miniature cot, I would say, a miniature cot. And in this cot, brothers and sisters, I saw five items, because I counted it. But there were two ladies, um, one on each side of the cot, okay? And what these two ladies were doing, brothers and sisters, anyone anyone that passes these two women they look like they were probably doctors or scientists or something like that or nurses i'm not sure but they're in the medical field but anyone who passes these two women they were called over at their will if they wanted to go and they were basically telling the people to wipe their hands because their hands are dirty so has the lady and i walked up to go down the escalator obviously we were called and these two ladies called us over 
And the first thing, they looked at both of us, both me and the lady, and they said, your hands are dirty. So I began to look at my hands and I'm thinking, I, I can't see any dirt. That's what I was saying to these two ladies. I said, I can't see any dirt. But in the spirit, as I said, I can't see any dirt. In the spirit, it's like I had bird's eye view. And it's like loads of hands was just coming up. These are the people in the shopping center that was passing. And I saw dirt on people's hands. Not everybody. Not everybody. Some people had a little dirt, dirty hands sort of thing. And other, their hands were clean. And the Lord began to speak to my spirit and he said, the people with the dirt on their hands, all they need is soap and water. That's it. That's what the spirit of the Lord says to me in the vision. He said, all they need is soap and water. And then the hands, they just disappear. They all disappeared. Because the Lord wanted to show me about the hands. So my focus was back to the two women who were telling me and this lady that we need that our hands are dirty so both myself and the lady said our hands are clean the lady that was with me not the two doctors the lady that was with me then turned to me and said Kerry whatever you do those five items that is in that baby cot do not do not touch it do not use it do not go near it brothers and sisters as i begun to look in the cot the five items that i saw was the five names i think it's five i don't know how many names i, I lost count but anyway it were five <sighs> The five names of the you know what that's going on in the world. I can't really call them here on you, you, but you know them. The one that starts with P, the one that starts with A, the one that starts with J, the one that starts with... What else, brothers and sisters? I lost count, but it's five of them. The you know what that's going on in the world. And the all had the names on them, the full name, not just just the full name of the you know what um, cobra, um, cobra slap. All right, I'll change up my thing. Cobra slap. All right, um, the all had the names on them of all of them, and obviously I recognized them, and I was like in my heart was saying, this is really strange. I begin to question in my spirit. And I said, Lord, this is strange. Because you know what normally the coming in bottles that you pull up and you do your thing. But these you know what brothers and sisters, they were in the form of baby wipes. They were in the form of baby wipes. And when I look in the cot at all these five baby, I call them baby wipes for now. All these five, you know what, baby wipes. You can tell that people have been wiping their hands. Because, you know, when you use baby wipes and you have a little piece showing and it's not closed properly. So I said to myself, ah, so people have been using these baby wipes. Uh, these two women that's sitting down, one on the left, one on the right of the cot, have been calling people over and giving them the, the wipes to use. The lady that was with me, brothers and sisters, I should be going to tell me not whatever I do, stay away from the from these baby wives because they're very, very wicked. That's what she said. She said, the, the wicked, stay away. She said, stay away. She said, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to prove to the whole world. This is what the lady is saying. I'm going to prove to the whole world and show the world that these baby wives, that you two ladies are telling people to wipe their hands when their hands are not dirty. This is what the lady was saying to the two doctors. When their hands are not dirty, you're calling people over, telling them to wipe their hands and their hands are clean. But then when she was speaking in my spirit, she didn't saw what I saw, where the Lord brought all the hands 
in front of me. Some were clean, some were dirty, and the Lord said, all you need is soap and water. Wash it off underneath water. That's it. You're clean. You don't need the baby wipes. The lady began to say, I'm going to show the whole world that these wipes are very wicked. Brothers and sisters, the lady began to pull, pull up the wipes, because it's five of them, isn't it? And when she pulled up the first sheet of white with the, the P one, you know what I'm talking about, the P one. Brothers and sisters, the P one, <clears throat> the P baby wipes, when I look at it, because she held the sheet up and she said, can you see this, Carrie Ann? And I said, yes. She said, you see the patterns? And I was looking at the patterns and the patterns in the P one, it was striking. In the P1, brothers and sisters, in the P, you know what? It was striking. It was vibrant. It was, it was just in your face. It was, it was all white, don't get me wrong. Just a normal color of your baby wipes. It was the same color. It wasn't green, pink, blue or anything. No, it wasn't. Just normal white baby wipes. But it was made of patterns. And these patterns were fancy patterns. Proper fancy patterns, brothers and sisters like cobweb type pattern thing so the lady pulled it out and she wiped her hands with it she wiped her hands with the p baby wipe then she pulled out the a baby wipe the one beginning with the hey a and she and she showed me she said can you see the patterns and i said yes but the patterns in the a wasn't as as pronounced as one in the p she wiped her hands with the hay. Then she pulled out another one that begins with J. The pattern was in that as well. But the P pattern was the brightest pattern. The webby, 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 webby pattern. Brothers and sisters. Then she pulled out... What's the other one called? I, I can't remember. They show me. Same thing, pattern. Pulled out another one. Same thing, pattern. But the P. The, the you know what that begins with P. That is the... Yeah. That one is wicked, brothers and sisters. The web, the formation of the web that this thing formed on the baby wipes is very wicked. So the lady began to wipe her hands with all these baby wipes. Brothers and sisters, all of a sudden, the woman hand began to bleed. There were blood everywhere. Blood in the cot, blood on the floor, right? And then one of, the so one of the soldiers turned around and realized what was going on. And he came over and he said to the lady, what's wrong with your hands? And the lady said, I'm showing the world how wicked. I'm showing the world how wicked these you-know-what, you call the name, obviously. The you-know-what is. So the, 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 the soldier got some water and said, wash your hands off. And the lady washed her hands off. And when she washed her hands off, the soldier then turned to her and said, you've got no cuts. There's absolutely no cut on your hands. And the lady said, I know there's no cut on my hand, but whatever I've wiped my hands with, these you know what, you call the name of it, these you know what wipes, it's gone into my bloodstream. And then so therefore she was just who's in blood from her pores the blood was coming from her pores the only person that i know that whose blood from the poor poor pores rather um because the bible said that jesus christ of nazareth he sweat blood and that's because his body was under severe stress when they were gonna murder him when they were gonna kill him he knew it and his body just went under that intense stress and his you know, begin to his, his sweat became blood, his pores, his pores of pouring of blood. But in the case of this woman, something caused the blood in this woman, hands well, we know what it is, to become thin, so thin that it was seeping, it was just running out, running down. Brothers and sisters. After the lady washed her hands and she began to rebuke the you-know-what and the soldiers. Because she was saying to the soldiers, you all are in it. This is why I've been warning. I've been warning. I've been warning. And I've said that there's some wicked soldiers that's going to protect the turners. I've been telling you, brothers and sisters. 
But in this vision, this woman was rebuking the two uh, ladies that was giving out the, the baby wipes and the soldiers. And she was saying, y'all are in it. Y'all are very, very wicked. And then she said, I don't feel well. She turned to me and she said, I don't feel well. And it was like she, uh, she kind of bowed her head like that standing. And when she bowed her head standing, brothers and sisters, she began to speak and she said, carry, she said, run. She, she just said that to me. She said, run. She said, whatever you do, she said, run, go and hide. The lady lift up her head, brothers and sisters, to look at me. The Turner's event is real and it is coming. When the lady lift up her head, brothers and sisters, her eyes changed. All I could see in her eyes was, it was almost jelly. Just the pupil were next to nothing that were gone. It was almost white jelly and the, and the, and the pupil itself gotten bigger. The iris and the pupil, that color pupil, it just got bigger. But the white was covered in this jelly-like, uh, jelly-like substance. And you could see that something to her body was going on. Her body was going through a rigorous change in front of my eyes. Because her skin just got so pale. Her, and it was like her hair just became stringy. Everything was just changing. In front of me. And that was the last time she spoke. When she held her head down. And she said Carrie. Run. Run and hide. That's the last time she spoke. The same soldier. Brothers and sisters. Listen these soldiers are working with these things. I am telling you. The same soldier. That gave her the water to wash her hands. And said oh your hands are not caught. I don't know where the blood is coming from. The same soldier came over back. And when he realized what was going on, he knew. Hallelujah. I did God a creation. He knew what was going on. Because this wicked soldier went on his phone or his walkie-talkie, whatever they use, brothers and sisters. And he went, it's time. Let them out. Do you hear what I say, brothers and sisters? Are you listening to the vision? You listen to this vision. The soldier then phoned. I don't know who he phones, but all I know he said, um, when, when you know, once the lady's changing everything, obviously she's a turner now. And he went on his phone and he said, It is time. Let them out. Oh my God. This is why the lady said, carry, run and hide. I didn't go straight away because, you know, this lady was with me and I didn't know what was happening because like I said, she bowed her head. And, but then one of us said, she lift up her eyes and everything and I could see. Then I realized that she was turning, but the soldier came over and the Lord allowed me to hear what the soldier was saying. So that's why I didn't move at the same time. And like I said, the soldier said to whosoever was controlling whatever, let them out. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. All I could hear in the shopping center was screaming. Everybody began to run. Every, everybody began to run. The, when I looked behind me, brothers and sisters, just like the woman that changed, I, I don't even know her name, but I'm going to call her should I give her a name? I don't know her name. The lovely lady. Let me call her the lovely lady. Just like the lovely lady who changed in front of me. When I looked, probably about 60 yards, it wasn't far away from me. I don't know where these sleepers came from, brothers and sisters. It must be the people that wiped their hands with the baby wipes. It must be them. And some they turned something on. That's all I could say. Because all of a sudden, the whole place was filled with sleepers. Sleepers were everywhere, brothers and sisters. And people who weren't changed, like myself, began to run. 
we began to run and people were hiding and the, it was just it was it was awful it was awful because these sleepers was out of their minds their minds were controlled by something else and you know the funny thing about it brothers and sisters when i began to run away from the scene i look back yes i did because i'm not going to turn into a pill of salt am i but i look back you see when i look back the wicked evil soldiers were still standing there they didn't run and the lady the two ladies around the court they did not run but everybody else had to move away because these sleepers were just coming and the good thing i'm gonna say i don't know if it's a good thing actually i don't know if it's good but the thing i'm gonna say with the sleepers what i saw they weren't moving that fast they were a little bit you know they were fast you know <laughs> but they were slowish so you, you, you probably could get away they were moving but the, the pace whether they're, whether they're gonna pick up faster pace eventually i don't know but when i look back they were they were coming don't they were coming they were everywhere and um but the pace wasn't that fast 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 when i began to run brothers and sisters i don't know the vision must have shifted it must have shifted because I found myself, this is the same vision. And I found myself knocking on a hotel room. And when I knocked on the hotel room, brothers and sisters, when I opened the room, I saw my mom. And she knew what was going on. And in this room, brothers and sisters, she was praying. And I saw, because I know my siblings, I know, uh, I know the siblings, my siblings, who have gotten the you-know-what. And all the siblings, my siblings, that have gotten the you-know-what was in this room. They, 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 they did not turn, because my mom was praying. And they, my mom told them not to leave the room. So I think the presence of the Holy Spirit within my mom subdue the turning. Because I said to you, not everybody's going to turn. I said it. Not, if some people will be fine. Some people will be up. And those people who will be okay, they're going to they're gonna really worship you. They're going to they're gonna be so happy that they're just going to turn over a brand new leaf and give you all the glory all the praise but unfortunately not everybody is going to be safe some people will turn some not everybody some but some will but i remember i knocked on this door i don't know how i found it but this was a moving of holy spirit because the same event was going on in the shopping center and when i knocked on the door i went in the room and i saw my mom and all my siblings that had the you know what they were in the room but they, 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 they were okay. They didn't, they didn't turn. They, 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 they were fine. But they couldn't leave that room. They couldn't leave out. They could not leave the presence of my mom. Because I think if they venture out outside, whatever is causing the change, they would, they would turn. This is the reason why I say to people how to look after your families and friends when they turn. Because I know some of you are saying, oh, it is those the the triple six that's it they're done for they're going to hell no that is not true and when the turners event begin to happen and your family or friends turn in front of you when you begin to pray i'm telling you you're going to see restoration you're going to see restoration from your families and friends that's in front of you but not everybody will respond for some reason respond to prior so don't be brave and be a hero and go on the street and say you're gonna go touch these turners and no you don't do that you don't do that you keep it in your home because this is a part of yas judgment upon this wicked world the turners event is a part of yas judgment as well because people still hate him even though this thing is going on they don't they still don't know him so what is to come is gonna wake people up like because you you probably think that all oh, the you know the you know what that's making people ill all over the world you think that alone will wake people up but they don't business 
They keep they're doing the same thing. They're still clubbing. They're still doing everything wicked. But when the Turner's event happens and some people realize that they have not turned or they're good, they're good, they're going to give you a praise. And if they do turn and the family and friends begin to pray, and rebuke the thing and they come back to their natural humanity they're going to serve Yah with all their hearts all their soul and all their mind because some people come to Yah through fear the vision is true but uh the, i'm going to release i want to release three videos today brothers and sisters three today back to back the other vision not, it's not a vision the other revelation that i'm going to release it's, it's also about december 2021 we don't know what's going to happen but like i say in this vision to me it felt festive festively when the turners are changing the vision is true this vision this vision is true this vision is true um be on your guards be sober be sober be vigilant be watchful ever ever observing all things doesn't matter if they call you conspiracy theorists don't matter don't matter one bit observe all things brothers and sisters observe it all yeah never lies this vision that i'm giving to you now this prophecy this prophetic vision it is true and it's going to come to pass it will it's going to come to pass very soon we're very very close enough is enough because you see yeah is wrapping things up and people are not the, the, the heart is so hard against the most high but this Turner's event, it has to happen. So to wake up people. Because what's coming next is a triple six. And when the triple six come, don't be asking for prayer because nobody's going to pray for you. Because you're done. You're going to hell. H-E-L-L. -L, that's, that's your domination when you take the triple six. And I know that the, you know what looks like the triple six. It does. You know, you look at it, you think you can't buy, you can't go on holiday, you can't do it. It does, but it's not it to keep in the contents of the bible all right be bold be strong be courageous walk with yah just like enoch all praises all beautiful praises to the most high yah who lives above the heavens yah eternally bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus christ precious holy name amen and amen let us say the benediction together it's in jude chapter 1 verses 24 to 25 the bible reads now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise god our savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forevermore amen and amen amen blessings amen